Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Nismo Traveler Kuwait. And today I am back with another fun and interesting video which was taken by my dad. This video was taken inside the biggest mosque in Kuwait which is known as the Grand Mosque. The Grand Mosque is the biggest and official mosque of Kuwait and locals refer to this mosque as Masjid al-Kabir. The main prayer hall of this mosque can house nearly 10,000 men. This mosque has 144 windows and 21 teak wood doors. The dome of this mosque is 43 meters high and 26 meters in diameter. And it is decorated with Asmaul Husna, the 99 names of God, as revealed in Quran. This mosque has 10 gates made of rare wood. The color scheme of this mosque is blue, which is taken from the surroundings. Many tourists come to visit this mosque, and they may also borrow a headscarf and an abaya. The Grand Mosque is popular for its prayer arrangements during the last 10 days of Ramadan. Thousands of Muslims gather during the last 10 days of Ramadan. the original one ever since. Uh, you can see here, uh, Arabic was different back then. There were, the red dots you see are like the vowels, not the uh, dots we have right no, now. No, no, no. Because long time ago when uh, Islam was revealed to Prophet uh, Muhammad, everyone spoke in Arabic very well. It was their mother tongue, they didn't need the dots. But, you know, after the years have passed by, people started converting to Islam from any of other nationalities and languages mm -hmm. so it was too difficult for them to learn Arabic they started adding the dots like to differentiate between ha, kha, ja. ha has no dots kha has one on top ja has one in the bottom but uh, at that time they didn't have the, those dots they can read without those dots mm. these are the materials they have used the bamboo pens the sharpeners the case these are silk threads to put them inside this metal uh, pot for the ink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It absorbs the ink to uh, use uh, the right amount of it, not to drip and not to waste it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they use a special kind of paper, this kind of paper. 
This Quran is called Uthmani Quran because the Caliph, uh, Uthman bin Affan, who was a very close friend to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he uh, ordered people to write the Quran the exact way Prophet Muhammad told them. So it's, it is called the Uthmani Quran. Uthmani Quran. Uthman. 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 So hope this video was fun and interesting. If so, like this video, share this video and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.